Alright guys, to get right into the video, we're going to start off by moisturizing our face with the Tucker Ashley Perfecting Moisturizer that also has hyaluronic acid in it. I really like using this moisturizer underneath my foundation because I feel like it creates a smoother canvas, which results in a smoother finish overall. I feel so alive. Next up, I'm going to be using this primer from number 7. I have been ride or die for this primer lately, and I find that it's a really good replacement for some of the more expensive primers. I felt this way before. It must be you and I. It's got me thinking about us more. It's these bright lights in my clear days, and I can't stop but think about the way that you move around. I'm going to be using this mixing tray that I bought at Michael's to mix my L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte with my Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundations. And you can see that I'm just putting equal parts of both. This is the Sigma F50 Duo Fiber Brush and I love applying foundation with this because you can build your coverage to the perfect amount for you. I like to mix it up with the back of my brush and just apply whatever's on the back to my face. Just as you can see, I'm starting to spackle the foundation onto my face, and once we have less foundation on our brush, we'll start to go in circular motions to blend it all out. After we finish the first layer of foundation, I'm going to go in with this Makeup Forever Camouflage Cream Palette and I'm going to be using the green color for my redness and spots and I'm going to be using the orangey salmon color for underneath my eyes. I first apply this with my finger and try to blend it as much as possible but we're going to go in later on and add a second layer of foundation. I find that these two foundations mixed together are not a very full coverage. I would say they're about a medium coverage, almost to a light coverage, depending on how many layers you put. So two layers of foundation would not be too much. It would not make you cakey because of the consistency that they are. <laughs> I'm just going to apply the second layer of foundation the exact same way that I applied the first layer. I like to go in with a damp beauty blender and remove all of the excess foundation to keep it from settling into my fine lines. Now for the brows. I have been filling in my brows with the Morphe Single Shadow in Birthday Suit and I go back and forth between an Eco Tools eyeliner brush and an Anastasia number no. 7 brush. <laughs> I think the key 
to a really natural looking brow is after you finish applying your powder or uh, wax pencil, whatever it is you're using, to go in with a little spoolie and blend all of that product out. Now to prime the eyes, I'm going to use my finger to apply the MAC Pro Longwear Paint Pot in Soft Ochre all over the lid. And then I'm going to set the primer with a translucent powder. Now I'm going to take my MAC 217 and apply this Morphe Single Shadow in Nuts for You right above the crease. I'm choosing to use a smaller uh, natural fiber brush for this because when I used to use a more fluffy synthetic brush, I felt like it wouldn't disperse the product the correct way. My eyes are so small that it would just cover my entire eye and it would just be a mess. So I find that this works a lot better for me. I'm just doing the same thing to the other eye. Now I pulled out my Sigma E40 tapered blending brush and just took that brush all over the lines that we just created to really blend and smooth everything out. I found that it wasn't blending like I wanted it to, so I took this Morphe Single Shadow and Cream Puff on the same blending brush and just took that right above the lines and I felt like that really helped to smooth everything out. Now to create the halo effect, we're going to take this Cream Brulee Morphe Single Shadow on a Real Techniques shading brush and start to shade the very outer corner, leaving the center of the eye blank. And you're also going to be doing the same thing to the inner corner, but remember, keep the center of the lid blank. We're going to fill that in with a more sparkly pretty shadow later. Taking the same brush, I'm going to connect the inner corner from the outer corner, remembering to leave that center blank. Now I'm just doing the same thing to the other eye, repeating the same steps. I felt like the brush that I was using was not giving me the depth that I wanted for the color. So I picked up this Sigma E30 pencil brush and just did the exact same thing that we did. Just pack that color on uh, a lot darker. Now I'm just going to go back in with that MAC 217 brush with no additional product and go through and try and blend those lines out a little bit better. With this flat concealer brush, the Sigma F70, I'm going to take this Morphe shadow and marbleize and really pack it on my brush and apply it to that space in the middle that we left on the lid.
in with that MAC 217 with no additional product. I'm gonna do the same thing and just go through and blend those edges. My camera stopped recording and I didn't notice, but I just lined the upper waterline with Max Smolder Eye Coal and applied some Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara. Now I'm just taking this NYX HD Concealer in Yellow to highlight and conceal underneath my eyes and the high points of my face. I like to blend the concealer out with my finger first and then go in with a damp beauty blender to soak up all of that excess product. And after doing that, I will set underneath my eyes and basically everywhere that I put that concealer with the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Pressed Translucent Powder. And I do this by using my Real Techniques setting brush. Now I'm going to go in with this Morphe Single Shadow in Nuts For You and this Eco Tools Eyeliner Brush and line the outer half and the inner half of my eyes, leaving that center blank. <laughs> This tiny itty bitty brush that I got at Michaels from the Masters Touch collection. I will leave all of these uh, brushes in the bottom bar and all of the products that I use, but we're just going to take this and dip it into that marbleized single shadow and fill in that part in the middle that we didn't put anything on. <music> For the second layer of mascara, I'm going to use my favorite mascara at the moment, and it is the CoverGirl The Super Sizer Mascara in Black, and I'm just going to coat the top and bottom lashes. I specifically chose not to put on lashes because I felt like there are a lot of people who love to wear lashes, but there's also a lot of people who don't like to wear lashes, so I'm trying to kind of cater to, to both my sides. <laughs> Now I'm going to line my lower waterline with Max Teddy Eye Coal. If you don't have this specific liner, you can just use any warm brown liner that will work just fine. I'm going to set the rest of my face with this Bye Bye Pores Translucent Powder and my Real Techniques Powder Brush. I'm just going to go all over the places that I haven't already set. Next, I'm going to bronze my face with the Live Love Laugh Vitality Face Disc by It Cosmetics. And I'm just going to use this poofy tapered brush to do this. <music> 
Then I'm going to go in with the Real Techniques setting brush, dip it into the bronzer, and really just define those contour lines. Now, thanks to Pixie Woo, I like to highlight before I put on blush. So I'm just using this Morphe M330 brush and the highlighter that is in the face disc to highlight my cheekbones. And then I'm going to take the Morphe 9B palette and these three shades that you see me dip my Sigma F40 large angle contour brush in and I'm just going to apply this blush to the apples of my cheek and up towards the high parts of my cheek. If you don't want to go with an ultra matte liquid lipstick and you want something a little bit easier to apply, you could go with the Tristique Mini Matte Lip Crayon in Chili Red. I chose to line my lips with the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil in 69. Keep in mind, I did overline my upper lip a good bit, so if you're considering overlining your lips for the first time, just watch this and really look closely, and I feel like it could really help you because the way that I did it really maps out the way that it should be done. I changed my mind and wanted to use ColourPop's Ultra Matte Lip in Creeper, so I'm just filling in the blank spots and going over that liner. To clean up my edges, I'm just going to go back in with that lip liner and really define the shape. And after that, if you have some mistakes, you could go back in with your foundation. And I'm using this tiny little pencil brush that I got at Michael's. And I'm just going to dip it in my foundation and really try to carve out those lines. <music> Thank you.
I'm going to finish up by blending out that foundation around my lips with my finger. And that's it, you guys. That is the end of this tutorial. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to me, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care, and Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays.